Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to style your blog post, how to structure your blog post, and give you options on how to make your blog post unique every single time. So I have another video on how to launch your blog and I have other video content as well that you could find either in that little eye in the top corner or in the description below. But with that said, this video is really about how to style a specific blog post. So this is our blog post overview page. But if I click into one of these posts, I'm going to show you how to style this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're on a specific blog post right now. This could be a template or this could be a new post that you wanna create. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the editor and I will just click edit. And now we're gonna start working on this post specifically. Now, there's a few things I want you to keep in mind and have a good sense of this. We could create this as a template so that every time you upload a new blog post, you can just easily duplicate the template and go from there. So what you would do is you just basically save it as a draft in the back end, and every time you start a new post, you just start with duplicating it, and from there, you just, boom, you got a template to work with. If your structure is very similar every time, and most of the time, it should be. But let me show you a few tips on thinking about blog posts. So the first thing, title here, you can make any adjustments you want. Second thing is this little I, if I change anything here, so the font, and, or sorry, the format and the color. If I change anything here, it changes it for all my blog posts across my entire site. So just bear that in mind as you're getting started. Now, let's go in and let's start working on this format. First and foremost, the plus sign gives you access, as always, with Squarespace to everything. Literally everything you can use in Squarespace on any other page you can use on a blog post. Typically, I start a blog post with an image, and so I'll click the plus sign and then add in an image. So here, we'll add in the first image. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this plus sign, and if you're looking for images, I would just go to Browse, and here are free images from Unsplash, and you could type in something you like. I'm just gonna select this, hit Add Image. Beautiful, just added that to the site. Now, one quick note, I have a video on this as well, but let's say you wanna make this the thumbnail image as well. Well, you added it here. Now, what I would do is I would go and hit done and hit save, and then I would go to the same blog post and click the little three dots and click settings. There's another way you could get here, but that's what I'm gonna do now. I would remove this image and then I do search for image, and because we just used it, it is right here. So I'll upload that, click add, Boom, just like that, it will upload it to the thumbnail and it's on the blog post. So if someone sees the thumbnail, they can click on that and they'll see it in the blog post. Okay, so let us go back into the editor and we're gonna add in a few other things. So now we have this header image here. We have our text, this could be the intro. Let's just say it's two paragraphs. I'll get rid of this. And then what I would do is this is when I would go into this next section here which would be to add an image. If I could just find the plus sign, that would be wonderful. Okay, it's not showing up on the text. So I'm just gonna click it here, don't know why, click the plus sign, and then drag this down. Okay, there we go. Sometimes it's a little finicky like that. Okay, cool, so I have that image there. What I could do here is like, let's say this is the first section, so what, boom. So this first section, I'm gonna set up as a heading two, if it's a major theme, and then if it's a smaller theme, it could be a heading three uh, overall. So there's that. Now I'm going into a new section. I'm not putting the text right below here. I'm putting it underneath. So I'm gonna keep that there, and then I'm gonna click under the image and then add another text block. You could see why creating a template could be super useful because over time you won't have to uh, do this every single time. So I'm just gonna copy this, paste it here. I'm gonna copy this and add in a few paragraphs. So it builds up and then we're gonna go to our next section. So this is gonna be our uh, key tip number one. And again, if the other heading was heading two, I'm gonna make this heading three. Then here I can add in another image if I find the plus sign. All right, there's the plus sign, add in that image. 
and then add text below. Now, something else that you might like to do here uh, that is cool. Let me add this in. Okay, cool. So now you have this blog post. This is really coming to life. It's easy to navigate. It doesn't feel like it's too much text at any point. Maybe this is a lot of text, but it could be something like that. And then key tip one, a little bit of text. And then I basically do these three things for the next few tips, how many ever tips there are. So key tip number one, image, and then this. But something else you could do is, let me just add a line for separation so you can see. But then underneath this, I would add text and I'd paste the text in and I'd also add an image. And then what you can do, this is really useful for mobile. What you could do is you could drag this image down. Now pay attention to this blue line that pops up. So if I drop the image here, this is what we want. You see how it's like a square, it's taking up that space or a rectangle, it's taking up that space. That operates differently than if you drop it here on the side, right next to the box. So let me show you. If I drop it right next to the box, which did not happen, across the whole, you see how it's across that whole section there. If I drop it there, you see how it cuts off the text completely and drops it down. This is a really good feature for some things and for other things it works, it's not the best. In this case, what I actually want is I want it to wrap around the text. And this is valuable for a few reasons. Let me show you why. Let me drag this back and I'm gonna actually place it on this side. So it's gonna fill in the space right here and I'm gonna do it like, just say right about there, okay? So we have this image. Let me actually upload an image here so we have something to look at. I will choose this image here. Use, thank you, beautiful. So now we have this set up. Now you see this text here, it all begins with an idea. In Squarespace by default, typically what happens is image, or said this way, Everything reads top to bottom, left to right. Same way you read a book, uh, that's how it reads it on mobile. So if I click on mobile preview, you're gonna see that the image comes first and then all the text. That's really nice. But that also makes sense because it's on this side. But let's say I drag it to this side. It all begins, should be the first thing that shows up. But let's take a look at mobile preview. Again, it shows up on the top now, why is that? Well, it's because this image is really attached to this whole section. And so it gives for a really good user experience. Instead of the image, if I had it on the side here, if I have it like this, the way it shows up on mobile is it shows up underneath. So do you see those differences? That little minor tweak is actually quite useful. And there are a lot of people I've seen use it. Uh, let's drop it back there and then drag it, as you can see, you could just drag it how you want. Uh, really useful for a lot of people as they build their blog posts. So you can see a lot of useful systems here just by implementing a few tactics. So you could keep going, add more points. I'm gonna stop there, hit save, covered a lot of information. And again, if you want this as a draft on your site, you just keep it as a draft, click the three dots, and then hit duplicate. And then that way it becomes like a template for you. Typically with a template for me, I wouldn't have any images in it. So they would just be blank images, kind of like the fact that you don't see images here, they're actually there. If I click edit, you'll see they, they are there, but they don't show up in the preview when you hit save because there's no data there. So it just removes them, but they are there. So I would have blank images. So it's really easy for me to just add images. I don't have to delete them and then add an image. And one final pro tip for you, if you're really trying to maximize your business on Squarespace and you're blogging, always have a call to action at the bottom of your blog post. You could organize that in a lot of different ways, but it could just be your last paragraph. You don't necessarily have to write conclusion, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of write out conclusion. And then here you could have contact us for more info, whatever that is going to say, whatever you need it to say, I'm going to highlight that and then do contact. If I have a contact page, I don't, but that's good for now. And boom, just like that, you have now created uh, your template and you have a clear call to action at the bottom. This information up here and this information down here is a setting that I have all that live. So um, that's a little bit different, but your blog post is here. It's structured well, it's beautiful, gorgeous, great work. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. 
Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells me that you got value from today's content. It tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from today's content. Next, if you want more resources for your site on Squarespace, anything from SEO to blogging, check out the links below. We have so many resources on our website and we're publishing new resources each and every month. So we have plugins, we have downloadables, we have free downloadables, we have blog posts, we have a ton of content, we have a ton of services, a ton of great things for you. Finally, if you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. My mind is blown that we're publishing three videos a week. It is a lot of content but we're doing it for you so three videos a week if you want more consider subscribing and i will see you guys in the next video peace